What's good people, welcome back to the video. Today we're checking out Drake, 4pm in Calabasas. So I didn't have any plans to check this out so soon. I only checked out 6pm in New York uh, yesterday, like last night. I uploaded it, it got blocked, unfortunately. Pretty pissed about it, to be honest. I know you guys really want me to check it out and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I'm gonna quickly plug the Patreon now because it's up on the Patreon at the moment on the first tier, which is two pound, I think like $3 or something around there. If you wanna check it out and see other block reactions or if you wanna go a higher tier, get exclusive reactions, so on and so forth. Link is in the description below. I'd really appreciate it. Just supports me and what I'm trying to do over here. But either way, truly really looking forward to this one, man. The last one and this one are the two that you guys have told me to check out there. This is the most recent one. I believe it's 2016. So probably going to get us all a different sound, I'm imagining. So I'm just looking forward to it, man. Bit disappointed that this is the last one and the past one got blocked. Pretty pissed, but I'm still looking forward to this, man. Before we jump into it, guys, if you're new around here, please drop a sub. We're on the road to 5k. I'm trying to hit that as soon as possible. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, description below. And of course, drop a like and a comment on the video as well. I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's just get into this, man. Drake, 4 p.m. in Calabas. Let's get it. Yeah. All you self promoters are janky. We established like the Yankees. This whole fucking game thank us. We moving militant, but somehow you the one tanking. No limit to what I can take it. And you know me as a Chris Bottle sender. Check pick up. I thought we looked out for one another. Saw us all as brothers in the struggles who blessed to be humble. I guess it's different in the city I come from. Dude, straight away, this beat is crazy. It's giving me vibes of something else. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments below if it is from anything else or I'm just. I'm spinning out. Already, man, he's just got this sort of timestamp attitude. This sort of like this cadence and the way he sort of approaches it is the same every single time. Like he's ready to make a statement almost. He's just giving you the facts. Just straight away, man. No holds barred. Fully. All of a sudden, I got people showing how much they truly resent me. They hold a meaning that spells envy. They trying to tell me. The higher I get, the less they accept me. Even had the OG try and press me. Ha, 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 ha. Hey. No way out because I'm already in it. I'm not attending when I do a show and get a ticket. Good business can clean millions. I got division. I've been had it since Definitely got the vision. Pigeons. Even back when I wasn't as popping. When they told me take a RB nigga on the road, and I told him no and drew for Kendrick and Rocky. I try to make the right choices with the world watching. Mm. Mike never tried to rap like Pac. Pac never tried to sing like Mike. Those my dad's words to me when I asked him how to make it in life. Dude, I love that. I love that Mike can't rap like Pac, but Pac can't sing like Mike. Or along those lines. I also love that he said, they were, like he said, if you want to, if you want to blow, bring an R&B guy on the road with you, tour with an R&B artist, because it's probably going to be more of an audience. See, I'm now. I want to go Kendrick. I want to go Rocky. Straight away, you're seeing that he was making his own path. He was making his own decisions. He also spoke previously about about the business, about clean money. He had the vision. 100% man, and he stuck to that vision. I think that's why he's such a credible artist in the sense that he stuck to what to what he wanted to do, no matter what anyone else said, and I fought with it, man. And I always said my mother gave the greatest advice. Yeah, look at me now, they look at me like the golden child. Can't nobody hold me down. Hey. Especially not right now. Certain shit is just too wild to reconcile. Take that, take that. No love in their heart, so they fake that. DiCaprio level, the way they play that. Damn, nigga, what is that? Y'all don't hear no songs, they hit my phone like you did that. They even hit my line like where you been at. It's always on some shit like when can I get a favor? Where my bitch at? Like I'm about to tell you where she been at. Cost the Correa. He always has those bars. Where's my bitch at? You know where she's been at. Dude, he's always got those bars. He always pulls them out. He always pulls them out. Just the sheer disrespect is crazy, man. Got a kidnap. She ain't sorry and I ain't sorry. It's too late for sorry. Green, white, and red on my body because I'm dipped in Ferrari. All she want to do is get high and listen to party. She complain. I tell the driver to drop her at Barney's. My summer diet is just rose and calamari. Look, now you got me started. I'm the black sheep. Rest in peace to Chris Farley. I got a lot to lose, cause in every situation I'm the bigger artist, always gotta play it smarter mm. Y'all shook up, I'm here on the cook up Cameras pointing every time I look up That's why I got a duck behind Chubb Shoulder just to hit the cush up Sponsorship dollars are sky high He be like, Drake, will you please stop smoking la la Chubb's why I try, I'm a thug, I'm a die high Got the rose pink tinted lenses, it's a Wednesday I love that he's still got the humour within Like, you know, there is some, some aggression, some sort of sneak Sneak disses in his sense, says he wants to smoke, so basically because he's always in the public eye, he has to hide behind uh, Chubbs. I'm not sure who Chubbs is, whether it's his bodyguard or something like that, someone big, I imagine. Has to sort of stand behind and smoke, and he's saying, can you stop smoking, and I'll, I'll die high or whatever. It just keeps that, keeps that little edge to it, so it's not too serious. I just think he balances it really well. Architects taking dimensions, they redoing the entrance. Yeah, redoing the entrance, kind of like when you niggas drop on some again and again shit. Ooh. And you still never quite get it. Meantime, Drizzy over there trying to make you make it dance to this. Hey. Yeah, I'll make you dance to this. Ah, 
Roll big body, wide body, Calabasas, roll winder, sun shining, wax tires. See Chris Jenner, I beat twice and I wave. The rest of you boys, I blow kicks right in your face. Pistol by my bed, I'm asleep, but I'm awake. For that one night when niggas try reach inside my safe. Don't push me, cause I'm way too uneasy nowadays. These guys move so great. Not gonna lie, that spun me out, and I thought it was gonna be the actual version. And it wasn't, but I like that he had a little spin off as well. I like the little ha 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 that he had before as well when he was speaking about the OGs. I like that he's throwing in those little things. I rate it, man. I rate it. He's also saying he's always awake, he's never asleep because the one time that someone might reach in, try and take his money, he's then he's always on the ball. He's always sort of top of his game. He's never slacking. Breezy nowadays, I tell you my life and y'all don't believe me when I say it. Say my stories for down the line. I'm too ahead of the curve every time. Just total the hits and see what you find. You SWV cause you weak and I'm always, always on your mind. I love that he throws yeah. in those melodies, man. And we can't stop. Make you dance to this. Uh, I'ma make you run dance to this. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Bye, breathe, bye, this is boy. such a vibe, man. No lie. Yeah. I love this That's beat, right. dude. There's little elements coming in as well. Fuck with yeah. it. Okay guys, that was Drake, 4pm in Calabasas. Lovely listen, man. Loved it. All these timestamp records have been sick, bro. For real. I just, lo I just love the, the attitude he's on and the vibe he's on. I love that he's like carried it through all of them. Like I presume like diehard Drake fans love these. Like love to sort of experience this version of Drake and the way he sort of carries himself on these. Just feels like he's up top of the podium. Like he is, he's top of the mountain, if you know what I mean. The way he speaks, just the attitude he has, like I said, the presence, everything about it. Just the bars as well. Just. And I love these throws in the melodies as well, man. I know with the more recent Drake, you're getting these sort of more polished melodies. I think it's so nice that he throws in. I love the homage he paid with the ha 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 and shit like that. Fuck with it, man. Beat was crazy as well. I love the beat he was on. I love how he just goes off on these, bro, for real. What's really irritating though is I can hands down say the best one I've checked out at 6 p.m. in New York, and it's the one that's um the one that's fucking blocked, which just pisses me off. I suppose that's more of a reason for you guys to go down to Patreon in the description below, pay two pounds or whatever the fuck it is, conversion rate to wherever you are, and check it out. Uh, I really appreciate it. But yeah, man, still crazy. Still crazy. Probably, yeah, maybe, maybe second, second best, maybe third best. Did really fuck with it though, just just a vibe, man. Pretty disappointed that we don't have any more of these now. Hopefully, we'll bring out another one soon. That'd be crazy, bro, if I got to experience and release one of these. But thank you to everyone that sort of tuned in for these time set records. I really appreciate it. And you guys giving me some more insight on them as well. It's been, it's been really fun, man. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, drop a like. If you enjoy my stuff, point you want to see me again, then please drop a sub. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, description below. If you have any questions, any Drake or anyone else, chuck in the comments below. But for the meantime, guys, I've been Charlie. This has been 4 p.m. in Calabasas, and I'll see you in the next one.